Hello, I'm Carlos Diaz in for AJ Hammer with big news breaking tonight. Nude baby outrage. Like so many people today, I couldn't stop asking, what the heck was a popular blogger thinking when he posted naked pictures of Giselle Bunchen and Tom Brady's naked baby and made lewd, crude, and sexually disgusting comments about that baby? And I can tell you, I wasn't the only one asking that question. And tonight, there are demands that this guy be arrested and face child pornography charges. I mean, think about it. You not only do something totally moronic, but you do it with a naked baby of one of the world's most famous fashion models and her star NFL quarterback hubby, who could probably crush you like a twig. With me tonight is Vinny Politan, who is the host of HLN Special Report every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern, right here on HLN, followed by Prime News at 6 p.m. And in New York, Vicki Ziegler, who's a family attorney. The outrage today was not just about the photos, guys, but the lewd comments the blogger made about the photo. I mean, come on, posting naked pictures of the two-year-old boy and making disgusting sexual comments. Vinny, is there any excuse for this guy? Uh, there, there's no excuse for it. Now, the, the picture alone, is it child pornography? Uh, maybe not. But then when you take it in the context of what he said and the juxtaposition of the other photos on that blog, you put it all together, it's not a pretty picture. And I don't understand it either, Carlos. I don't know why you would do that. A child, I mean, it's dangerous territory when you start talking about naked pictures of children, but then to add the comments that he added and put it in the context that he did, I don't think it's a joke that's, that's funny at all. Vic Vicky, I mean, are we looking at some kind of legal action here? Uh, possibly. I mean, parents have been indicted for child pornography when they're kissing their child's backside and posting pictures on Facebook. So listen, could the mm. DA, of course, charge this individual? Certainly. I mean, come on, his moral compass was obviously in, this, in the closet. I mean, come on, who does this? You saw pictures of this little beautiful boy all over, but you didn't see his private parts. You saw his face. You saw the side of his body. Why would you do that? And more importantly, make such a lewd comment. It's so inappropriate. And it, I certainly think if the DA believes that they're going to go forward, they have the right to do that. This guy could well, be in serious trouble. I can tell you the blogger who posted the pictures is actually defending himself, and he's not apologizing. He thinks <laughs> he did nothing wrong. He, he just spoke with reporter Sean Kelly with our Boston affiliate WCVB-TV. Watch this. We're built for better or for worse. We do always push the boundaries. David Portnoy is not ashamed to say it. Smut is his game. His Barstool Sports Boston website generates two million unique visitors a month. Controversy doesn't scare him, not even when it's about a picture he posted of Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen's son naked. I was surprised that it had the reaction it did. Callers on Sports Talk Radio are calling for his head. And this may sound simplistic, but I wasn't thinking it was an issue. As I sit here again, I don't think it's an issue. The headline and blog, which we decided not to reshow, are about Brady's son directing readers to the size of the two-year-old's genitalia. The blog was more to the point, whatever Brady does, Brady does well. In my mind, it's actually scarier that people would sexualize that photo when you read it, and it's a joke. This is a very serious felony. Former criminal prosecutor Wendy Murphy isn't laughing. The whole purpose of this posting was to get people to look at this child's genitalia. Absolutely clear to me, as a matter of law, felony, 20-year maximum time in state prison. If I thought, you know, I was going to be arrested or thrown in jail, I would obviously take it down. But to be honest, I wouldn't have put it up if I thought that was the case. Yeah, you're kind of an idiot, aren't you? <laughs> I think the guy's in serious denial. He needs a reality check. Vinny, we just heard from former pr criminal prosecutor Wendy Murphy saying he should be prosecuted. What do you think? You know, it's a tough call because you're, you're talking about uh, the, the you know freedom of the press, freedom of expression, you know. But the bottom line is, and it comes back to what I said before. Once you see the context he puts it into, and he tries to say it's comedy, it's not comedy. It's sexual. His comments are sexual. The posting of the other photographs are sexual. You put it sexual, naked child genitalia. You get a prosecution. Ignorance and, is not and, 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 Real quick, Vinny, Vinny, real quick. I, you know, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you're. Because we, we have to be clean. We can't go where he went on TV. But if we could, you would see how just completely off color this guy is to make the suggestions that he did. I, I'm sorry, Kelly, go ahead. Oh, 
uh, the ignorance is, is really not a defense here. I didn't know this would happen. I didn't know we'd have outrage. That you can't defend that in a court of law. And more importantly, the point is we have to protect minors. We have to protect our children. There are predators out there that will take this picture and do untoward things with it. And that's the whole point. We don't want this picture disseminated to those disgusting human beings out there. Vicky, great point. I can tell you that our friends on Facebook tonight uh, they're outraged. Take a look at what Heather G wrote on our wall. That is disgusting. It is one thing to post a picture that it, like that, and it is sickening to make sexual comments about it. Disgusting perv, throw him in jail. That's the part that is so disgusting, Vicky. Can Giselle and Tom, can they sue, but more importantly, can, can this guy defend himself by saying it's comedy? You know, potentially, um, it probably won't work because it, you're dealing with a child. And the question becomes, what is your expectation of privacy when you're out on a beach and your child is naked? What what kind of damages can you sustain if, in fact, they're on a public beach? That's the question. So I don't think that's really going to go forward. Taking the picture down, perhaps other charges down the road. But right now, I think really focusing on whether or not this is child pornography is really I, the main I got concern. news for you. It's, it's a Boston website. Let's Everybody needs, needs to boycott the, the sponsors of this Boston website, all right? I got to move on to the brand new stunning developments tonight in the Casey Anthony uh, case. The judge who handled Casey Anthony's criminal trial has just ordered Casey to return to Florida. Here's what he ruled today. Casey needs to just order Casey to return to Florida. Here's what he ruled today. Casey needs to report for, 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 for probation on August August 26th. The probation stems from her check fraud conviction. Now, the judge disagreed with Casey's attorneys, who argued she already served her probation while she was sitting in jail for three years. Before her trial began, Vinny, you were in Orlando covering the Casey Anthony trial. Should Casey be worried about having to return to Orlando? Is she worried about, should she be worried about, about being hurt? Well, you know, we saw the survey that came out that said she's the most hated woman in America. So it's not limited just to Florida. It's just being in public and people knowing where she is and when she's there. And Judge Perry dealt with that issue today. He issued, he issued the order. He told her she's got to do probation. But he told probation they can, unlike they do with every other probationer, they can keep her address secret. They do not have to make that a part of the public record. So Judge Perry, I think, did everything right here. He's making her serve the sentence like any other probationer would, any other defendant would, but he has said he understands that it's different, the nature of who she is and, and her perception of the public, and he's taken that into consideration by allowing probation to keep her address, not uh, uh, make it not a public record and keep it secret. Well, Vicky, real quick, 10 seconds. Can she get a job? She's going to have to get a job if she's on probation. She has to. Maybe Jose Baez will hire her as a file clerk. Yes. Very good point. Vinny Politan, Vicky Ziegler, thank you so much. Thank Coming you. Up,